15 minutes after the hour. You want to see impressive American innovation? Check out the robots that a company called Eckhart, this is out of Warren, Michigan, make. Their robotics and high-tech tools are revered from blue-chip names, everybody from Boeing to Tesla, General Electric, John Deere, United Technologies. So what's the problem? Well, despite bringing in about $100 million in annual sales, the company now is faced with crippling steel tariffs and must make some very difficult choices. Cut back or hike prices. Andy Storm is Eckhart's CEO and president. He's here in a Fox Business exclusive. Andy, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Liz. Y you know, you've got this platinum customer list and a really solid economy in which to do business. Tell us the biggest problem you're facing right now. Sure, I think, you know, Eckhart has been around for 60 plus years serving uh, American manufacturers, global manufacturers, and a core part of our business, a core part of our company uh, is lift assist and secure tooling that helps heavy manufacturers assemble and build the products that they sell to their end customers. A significant amount of our bill of material is made up of raw material, steel, aluminum, uh, metals, and with the tariffs that have recently been placed on a lot of the, the steel in particular that's getting imported from China, mm. it puts a lot of pressure not just on Eckhart but a lot of the companies that we compete yeah. against in addition to our customers. I, I would imagine, you know, under the best of circumstances, businesses have to bend or else they'll break. How have you had to bend uh, with these tariffs facing you? One of the big things that we focused on is productivity gains in our internal organization. We look internally at the processes and systems that allow us to build the products we sell to our customers. We don't have long-term fixed contracts where we have volumes that extend out five to seven years. Our purchase orders and our projects are much shorter in duration, and it forces our team to be creative and, and really puts a lot of pressure on our leadership team oh. to look for ways to improve the efficiency of the processes that we have, as well as the quality that we build into our products to eliminate rework and waste. Right, right. Um, I think most small manufacturers that compete in our space recognize that the industry as a whole, whether it be tariffs, whether it be labor shortages or labor strife with respect to unions, there are challenges that we face every day, and most of our customers are unwilling to allow us to pass price increases on to them. Oh, see, They're unwilling to absorb those costs, right. so we need to be creative about how we thrive and survive in the space that we compete in. At what point, though, will you have to raise your prices? And I say this knowing that you don't break out your, your costs on how much you pay for steel, but could you qualify it for us verbally, sort of... Uh, Compare it to the prices you were paying before the president announced these tariffs in February. Yeah, our, our prices have gone up significantly, significantly, you know, double digits, uh, double digit increases year over year. That does put an enormous amount of pressure on our company. But speaking to a lot of the folks that we work with day to day, small manufacturers up to very large multinational global corporations, people in general that live in manufacturing really appreciate the intent of what is happening with regards to trying to establish a policy, get policymakers mm -hmm. to focus on how we as a nation, how America can start to establish an industrial policy that supports manufacturers, businesses who truly want to compete in North America and in the United States in particular, and employ people in the small towns here in the Midwest and beyond who have great jobs with great standards of living and truly are bringing an unprecedented level of innovation to, to, mar right. to market. I, I get that, uh, and I think that we absolutely need a bipartisan effort to talk about that. The president uh, is trying to do things eventually that he believes will help U.S. manufacturing, but I'm, I'm interested to know how much longer you can hold out knowing that these prices have certainly gone up. Although I did see that the Council on Foreign Relations has said that U.S. steel manufacturers are starting to hurt as well. Are you hearing any anecdotal evidence of that from your suppliers? Absolutely. We speak daily with all of our suppliers, and in particular the steel suppliers that we buy our steel from, who ultimately get, get their steel from the mills. Um, there's no question they are feeling heat and pressure from the tariffs. But again, I think what everyone continues, the, the follow-up that occurs after we start talking about tariffs is everyone wants to be part of, manufacturers want to be part of, working with policymakers on both sides of the aisle to help establish policy that supports manufacturing in our country. A huge focus has been on tariffs and the impact of tariffs on manufacturers like Eckhart. But there's not a lot of dialogue, at least none that you see day-to-day -day in the press, around why is that why are 
Why is Chinese steel having such a pronounced impact on American manufacturing companies? Right. And I would posture that the reason it's having such a pronounced impact is because for decades our country has failed on both sides of the political aisle, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, to establish a national gotcha. policy that supports American manufacturers okay. like Eckhart. And we all want it. We all believe in American manufacturing. We are all willing to compete and will continue to compete to earn every dollar of revenue that comes into our company. And we're, we're going to go down slugging, Liz. Uh, uh, Andrew? Don't go down. We're, we're with you guys. I, I hope that the administration somehow invites you, either side of the aisle, to come to D.C. And, and state your case. I think it is really valuable. Good luck to you and the gang at Eckhart. Thank you so much for having us on. Anytime.